How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Not actually going to be playing anything today, I'm going to be discussing and talking about something that's kind of been at the back of my mind for the past week now. I did a video, I think it was around a month ago now, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. And it was all about the expansions, about the fact that we're getting more than two expansions, we're getting at least three, possibly a bigger type expansion than normal. Just, just stuff like that, discussing the rumours and the solid proof of, of that happening. And it made me realise that not many people actually know these type of details about the game. Not many people watch the interviews and not many people actually publish information about these little really good pieces of information such as getting a third expansion. It's not a very well known fact. And over the past few months there's been lots of things said, lots of things kind of found out and rumours added together. That I want to discuss in today's video, all we're going to talk about is the next Horizon 5, what it could be, also a bit about Forza Motorsport 8 as well, because there's some surprisingly good pieces of information and facts that could make us quite excited for Horizon 5, which I guarantee not even half of you are going to know, which is why I'm making this video to make everyone aware of all of these things that are going on in the Playground Games and the Turn 10 Studios places. First of all, I need to give a massive thanks to Alan as usual. Alan's the owner of Full Throttle Media and Full Throttle Media and Alan himself is very close to people at Turn 10, Turn 10 Studios. Oh, couldn't pronounce it then. He's very close to the people over there. He's had exclusive interviews himself with them. And in general, he just watches the live streams very carefully and he's published loads of articles about really interesting things that no one actually picks up on and i'm going to leave a link to some articles in the description and his website please check it out check out his articles because there's so many really good pieces of information there which helps us know what's coming in the future of forza motorsport 7 8 forza horizon 4 and 5. if there's anyone who picks up on really good pieces of information it's him so let's get into the facts that we have Forza Motorsport 7 was released in 2017, Forza Horizon 4 was released in 2018. Now following the dev cycle that's been going on for many years now, everyone would presume that Forza Motorsport 8, the next Forza in line, would come in 2019, which is this year. However, believe it or not, Turn 10 Studios themselves, who are the people that work on the Forza Motorsports, they have said that they're not working on Forza Motorsport 8 just yet. I'm going to have three articles in the description all based on Forza Motorsport 7 continuously being upgraded instead of getting a Forza Motorsport 8 this year, but the one line and the, the, the few lines I want you to hear are the following. This is exactly what they said. I just want to reiterate this message. I know other people have said this before, but the entire team, 100%, the entire Forza Motorsport team right now is working on Forza Motorsport 7. What that means is we're not going off making Forza Motorsport 8. We're actually not going off and making a grand new expansion. What we're doing is investing in the motorsport experience that you guys have right now, which makes it just better for everyone. So basically, to sum up what they've said here, Forza Motorsport 8 is not being worked on much right now, if at all, which definitely means we're not getting it this year. It usually takes at least two years to make a Forza Motorsport or a Forza Horizon, in my guess anyway. Again, many articles of this in the description, but what this means is if they're pushing it back a year, so let's say they release Forza Motorsport 8 in 2020, next year, that's set for Forza Horizon 5, which probably means that we're going to have to wait an extra year for Forza Horizon 5 as well, 2021, which sounds miles away, but that's only after next year. Now, this can be seen as a good thing or a bad thing. The good thing is they've got an extra year to work on the game. That's 50% extra than it would than they would usually have to work on the next Horizon 5. And the games have only been getting better and better anyway. So can we imagine what the next Horizon 5 will be like if it takes them an extra year? Now, I would say it's possible that Forza Motorsport 8 and Forza Horizon 5 will both come out next year. But that may be a little bit chaotic and they might... Forza Playground Games themselves might want to push it back purposely just so it doesn't collide like that. Another possibility is that Forza Motorsport 8 doesn't get released till something like 2021 and Forza Horizon 5 continues to take its spot in 2020, which means that we'll have another Horizon before the next Motorsport, if that makes sense. Which, yes, it does mean we're waiting an extra year for Horizon 5, but it's already been confirmed that we're getting some big, big expansions for Forza Horizon 4, not including the two that we've been promised, like Fortune Island or whatever the next one is. We're getting more than just that. So we'll have enough content to keep us going, but 
we want to know what we're getting in Horizon 5. So let's talk about that. Logically, let's just think about what we've had in the past. Forza Horizon 1 was set in the US. Forza Horizon 2 was Europe. Forza Horizon 3 was Australia. Forza Horizon 4 was the UK. Now, as you can see, it's always different. They've never done the same thing once or anywhere near the same thing. Now, if the USA has been done, Europe's been done, the UK and Australia have all been done, what is Forza Horizon 5 going to be? Most of the main continents of the world have been done. Australia, Europe and the US, they've all been done. And then we, they split off and did the UK, which is just as good. But what's left? I mean, they've got Japan, China, Asia... Africa. I can't imagine we'll have a Forza Horizon 5 Africa. I don't think that would be very good. But logically, there's only good locations left. They won't, New Zealand's kind of related to Australia in a way, so I can't imagine they would do that. So logically, think about it. Playground games have a thing to not really repeat themselves. All the expansions have been different. For example, we've had Blizzard Mountain, Storm Island, Fortune Island, Hot Wheels, and the Fast and Furious expansion. You know, they've never really been the same, which gives me the same impression that we're probably not going to get the same location twice until they run out of locations, that is. Now, something else I'd like to mention. As I said, it, do, it does take at least around two years to make each Forza Horizon. And I think ever since the beginning of Forza Horizon 3 or the end of Forza Horizon 2, people have really been pushing, oh, we really want Hong Kong, we really want Japan or something like that. But by then, I would have said it was too late for them to decide, right, we're going to make Forza Horizon 4 in Japan. It probably would have been too late by then. Around the time that Forza Horizon 3 was released and everyone started kicking off for Hong Kong, Japan and China, whatever stuff like that, it was already probably decided that Horizon 4 will be the UK. I believe that since everyone really started pushing for Japan and everything like that for a Horizon location, I don't think it would have been too late to make Horizon 5 that location because it would have been too far away. I think that right now Horizon 5 is in production. Although they've got to keep Horizon 4 up to date for an extra year, which does require some work, they've also got an extra year, obviously, to make Horizon 5 if it gets released in 2021. I mean, obviously, we've got loads of time to wait for this. We've got like nearly two years to wait, over two years, if it does this. So you're probably wondering why am I talking about this now, but there's not, we're not really going to get much more information between now and when we start seeing leaks of Horizon 5 and Motorsport 8 anyway, I don't think anyway. So but I want your opinions. What do you think is going to happen to Motorsport 8? When do you think it'll come? When do you think they'll start working on it? What kind of stuff do you think we'll see in Horizon 4? And where do you think Horizon 5 will be? Another possibility I've thought of for Horizon 5 is what if we get like the whole world? What if we get the Australia map? the US map. Imagine bringing back the Horizon 1 map as part of a bigger, bigger game. Having Europe from Horizon 2, being able to branch off to Horizon 4, and then Australia as well, and also having the infamous location itself, which could be anything, Japan, Russia, Abu Dhabi. So I don't know, I think we've got a lot of good things in store over the next few years as regards to Horizon 4 expansions and what Horizon 5 could be. But to put it short, it seems like in 2019, we're not getting a Forza Motorsport 8. What we might get is a lots and lots of Forza Motorsport 7 updates and maybe, and pretty much guaranteed, some quite nice Horizon 4 expansions as well. Which will mean that for the first time since 2011, we're not getting a brand new Forza title. But that's all for the best. We may get an extra year for Horizon 5. What could it be? I don't know. And it can be seen as a good thing. Because they've got an extra year, it opens up the opportunities for them to build some pretty big and better maps than usual. The maps have only been getting bigger and bigger anyway. And because they've got an extra year on top of that, we could be seeing something pretty insane and something we've been asking for for a long time in Horizon 5, such as a really, really good Japan map or something like that. So I hope this has made quite a lot of you more aware of what's to come for the next Horizon, when it's coming and stuff like that. There's actually quite a lot of large people in this community that don't know about this news. For example, no hate to the guy. He's produced some really, really good videos which have smashed the recommended section, so props to that. But Fast Lane Gaming. You may know of him, he's a very big Forza YouTuber as well. He recently posted a fan-made Forza Horizon 5 map of Japan. This is all fan-made, by the way, nothing confirmed. And uh, someone commented that there's one slight problem 
it's quite big and quite a big project to make Japan and it will make it a huge game and it will take a lot more time and everything. And then Fastlane replied, I would wait a year more than normally. But the thing is, with all this information I've told you today, it seems likely that we are waiting another year than normally. So I do have some high hopes for the next Forza Horizon, mainly because the only good options left are some pretty good locations and because we have to wait an extra year, it gives them more time and stuff like that. So, so we could be seeing some pretty good things going, but I don't want to leave this video going for too long. I've wanted to speak as most in detail as I can because I know I've got quite a lot of young watchers which really don't know half the stuff that gets published and facts that get known around this type of stuff. So I hope to everyone who's watched this, I hope you're more aware of what's going on right now with Forza Motorsport 8 and everything like that, which also gives us information about Horizon 5 as well. So anyway guys, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll have a little chat about this. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all in the next video.